You have three chances to guess where I am today. I'm in Amsterdam on a private trip and because a very good friend of mine is living here, I've been yeah, super happy and privileged. He invited me to check out his private place and, and I'm gonna review, I'm gonna roast one of his tanks. Say hi to MJ. What's up guys? <laughs> welcome, to, uh, welcome to my home, man. <laughs> okay guys, uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around. MJ is gonna give us a quick tour in his space, all his beautiful aquariums, I'm blown away. I already have a favorite. As he talks you through the tanks, comment down below which one is your favorite and which one you think I will review, okay? Let's get started. And at the end there is a bonus, so make sure to still stick till the end. Okay, okay, what do we have here, MJ? No, man, we have to start with this shelf. I always start with the shelf. You start My... with the shelf, the iconic shelf? The iconic shelf. <laughs> How many people have bought the same shelf like you did? I wish I had some sort of... Data to verify? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I've seen at least two or three people myself, and there must be more. I still get questions about it every single day. We put the link in the description. <laughs> we'll put the link in the description for sure. Okay, so very happy right now because at the moment we have all cubes. I never had five cubes, but right now we have five cubes on the shelf. So we're yeah. just gonna go over every single one in a little bit more detail. The one on top is very new. I've only planted this one four days ago maybe. So it's not really much happening in there just yet. The second one is my low budget aquascape. And it's still kind of going through a bit of a diatom phase. So this one has a little bit of algae. So we're not gonna show this one too much either. But number three is looking very good at the moment. Over here, we have my Dragonstone cave slash arch. I call it a cave, but people kind of corrected me and said, Mark, it's a bit more like an arch. <laughs> and I guess they were right. So this one is looking very good at the moment, in my opinion. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like Be this one as well. Yeah. It's really beautiful. It's doing good. It's now home to my alien beta, but he is hiding, but we'll overlay some B-roll with him in the shot as well. Does he have a name? Uh, he is Mr. Alien. Mr. Alien. <laughs> Yeah, cool. very creative. Okay, well, that one is really nice. Have you showed this one before? This one is also new, but the video will be released by the time you release this video. This is a 35 centimeter cube, and I tried to make up for my failure with this one. So this one was supposed to be a cave. It's more like an arch. This one is a proper cave. So it's a bit of a diorama style aquascape. Uh, we have some beautiful Treadfin rainbows in here. And yeah, I'm quite, quite proud of this one. How old is it by now? Uh, three weeks only. Three weeks. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So looking it's looking already good. very nice. And then the last one is uh, Ooh, quite special. The dark side. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved over to the dark side. Yes, this yeah. is. We have to censor this. We're not showing salt water <laughs> tanks on no, the channel. We don't do this. <laughs> You've seen this tank. What is your first impression? What do you think? Should I get a reef tank? I know uh, it's not like I'm running out of topics making videos about. It's not like that. It's just I see salt water tanks all the time, and I'm thinking. Ah, I would love to, but I don't have enough time, but I would love to. And my wife keeps asking me to get one, like, come on. <laughs> How often does this happen to get, you know, wife telling you to get a tank? Let me know below in the comments if you think I should do a salt water. And if I do, if I should do it on this channel or start like a separate channel, because some of you don't want to see it. You know, let's have an open discussion here. Let me know below and I'll back to Mark. This was my first coral reef aquarium. And I thought it would be very difficult, but it actually is, it's actually quite okay. I mean, in terms of maintenance, it, I would say it's actually easier than a planted tank because I'm just doing water changes and a little bit of glass cleaning and that's it. I don't have to trim the corals. I don't have to... You have to convince me. I, I think I, I'm already in. Mark, okay, let's okay. move on. I see, okay, I see on. another one you haven't showed yet. Yeah. Uh, and it's something really new. This one is um, also all, only a week old. I haven't shown it on my own channel yet, so it's uh, yeah, completely, complete new teaser. This is a UNS 90B. So it's, I, I guess it's a bookshelf tank. So it's measuring 90 centimeters long. It's 25 centimeters tall, and it's only 20 centimeters front to back. So it's a very narrow, a little bit of, of a shallow tank as well. And the idea with this one, I kind of want to replicate a very famous aquascape. Yours, do you know which one I'm going for? I'll leave you guessing, and people should guess in the comments as well. Uh, is this one is already on your channel? That when is it coming? 
Uh, it still has to grow in, in a little bit, so I'm guessing about three weeks from now. Cool guys, so that's an exclusive preview right here. Uh, I already like it a lot, especially the whatever type of micrantimum that is attached to the wood, crawling yeah. down. Cool, let's move on. What do we have over there, the big one, the 90 centimeter? Yeah, so lots of nanos, but we do have one big tank, the Oasis Capo Line 90. This one has now been up and running since March. We're now in almost November already. So I think it's almost time for a rescape, but I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do in here. It's looking okay. There's a little bit of algae in there, but besides that, I think it looks okay. Okay, cool. Over there, some low budget projects. Yeah, currently my only no filter aquarium, the no filter XXL bowl. It's a big one. I think it holds maybe 50 or 60 liters. And it's actually doing very good. I would say there's, I mean, the water is a little bit cloudy, but besides that, there's barely any algae in there. Plants looking super healthy. Uh, fish are doing good. So I'm actually really enjoying this one. Because there's no filter, you can see all the, uh, the air bubbles, you know, from the photosynthesis. You can see the air, air bubbles traveling up and it's kind of a very, it has a soothing effect, you know? Yeah, I, I like I this agree. one. I agree. Okay, and the last two tanks, is the twin setup you have? The yeah, these are the Oasis style lines. So there's kind of like a, like the budget range from Oasis. On the left, we have the Paludarium. And actually this tank is very low maintenance as well. It doesn't have CO2, it's low tech. I just spray the plants every now and then, do a water change and that's it. Yeah, it looks like a black water biotope. And then this immersed section is just beautiful. Yeah, love that. Nice and colorful. Okay, and the last one? The last one. Yeah, so this one is it's not a true biotope, but it's, I would say, Amazon inspired. So all the fish are from South America. We have some beautiful pistogrammas. Uh, we have the ruby tetras, which I really like. And I'm not sure what the English name is for these guys, but in, ne in the Netherlands, we call them hockey stick. So uh, because of the, the shape, you know? Yeah, I think in Germany they're called penguin tetra. Penguin tetra. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the... I think that's the English yeah. name as well. Maybe it's a trade name as well. Yeah. So, whew, the light was a little bit too bright. Uh, that was the tour. Guys, if you haven't done so yet, drop below your favorite aquarium and which one you guess I'm gonna review. Drum rolls, please. And it's gonna be this one. I told you in the beginning, I'm gonna do escape review. I've chosen this one specifically because it has a lot of potential. Uh, it already is on a high level and Mark asked me to be like brutally honest with him. So I'm gonna completely roast him. Uh, just rubbish, you know, just take it down. <laughs> no, seriously. So I love this cape. Uh, there is a great sense of depth in this aquarium. I love the arch in the background. I love the hardscape idea. The only thing I'm missing is something bald in the front. So we have this, I would say, kind of dominant hardscape on the left foreground with the aqua stone. Uh, partially covered by plants. There is also some of it on the right side, but it's almost completely covered by physidens. You know, the physidens grows lovely, no debate about that, super nice, but I'm just missing some hardscape over here. This way it looks kind of flat so that you have the width in the front and almost exactly the same width below the arch. And for more depth, it has to be more narrow. Also, I feel as if it's completely exposed and Mark would like it to be more of a cave, uh, if possible. And to give it more of a cave feeling, we can put one big stone here in the front. Maybe like my hand, like this size, something like that. Let me know if you agree uh, with that. Just instead of here with, with the fissidens, those rocks, just a slightly larger oco stone going exactly this direction. Uh, can be again, maybe multiple stones added with some fissidens, ricardia, pusifolandras. So it's partially covered by plants and it's gonna cover a part of the entry to the uh, arch or the cave and make it more mysterious. So, you know, you have to look around the corner to get behind. It's not completely open uh, or exposed to the viewer. I think it's gonna make it just more interesting. Then, uh, speaking about the plants, uh, especially in the pathway towards the back, I think there's huge potential uh, where it can be improved uh, because, again, there is a lot of cosmetic scent. I would love to see there are some small crypts, Cryptocarani Pava, Cryptocarani Lutea Hobbit uh, is a beautiful, beautiful one. You've seen it in the biotope uh, Paludarium typescape. Just add in more plants and just narrow the sand path towards the back this way. It's gonna just stretch it and look it more bigger, deeper than it is. And then 
I would say everything else is fine, you know, of course can be trimmed, etc. Uh, not gonna talk about minor things, but something that sticks out is this Cryptocurani Flamingo. So we have a very natural scene, you know, green colors, different shades, uh, the different uh, reds in the rotalas in the back, and then the crazy pink flamingo in the foreground. Doesn't work for me. I personally would remove it. I would stick to the overall theme of the already used plants in the aquarium. Uh, it's gonna make it more natural. And I think that's a great point to end the review here on this tank, because what is important is not what I think about Mark's tank, and it might be not important what he thinks about your tank or anybody thinks about one of your aquariums. It only matters what you think uh, in a way that you are the one who enjoys the tank on a day-to-day basis. Uh, you can allow some feedback uh, to come in. You can validate it. If you agree, you can improve and you know kind of uh, execute on it. But if you think, no, uh, I still like it as it is, it's cool. Just keep it. It's yours. Enjoy it. Okay guys, and if you want to see if Mark is going to implement any of my feedback, go check out his channel. And I told you in the beginning there is a bonus for you, and it's a giveaway, like always. Uh, this t-shirt I'm wearing today, keep on scaping, not the one I'm wearing, a brand new, fresh from the printer. <laughs> fresh from the printer. Uh, Mark is going to tell you what you have to do to get one. How about I pick one from your comments? Uh, sounds great. And yeah, what else so do they have to do? You guys have to be nice to me. What else do you have to do? Yeah, like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. <laughs> Hit that bell, smash it, smash it really hard. Uh, Mark, thanks for having me. Uh, it was a pleasure. Coming. I hope really I can nice come again. You. you can, but just don't watch my tanks anymore, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.